Hi, welcome to my 10 minute warm up session. This is a great little circuit that you can do every day just to try and mobilize the whole body, keep everything moving, get the tissues sliding and gliding. So let's get started. Standing up nice and tall. Let's roll the chin down along the chest to the left shoulder and all the way down to the right side. Breathing out. That's it, loosening off that neck. Shoulder rolls. Rolling those shoulders. That's it, taking them back, opening up. Beautiful. Arms out to the side. Now we're gonna do our rotator cuff release. Now from here, imagine you're doing walk like Egyptian, but lengthen those arms a little bit. So you're rotating that ball and socket joint. Breathing out. You can move your upper body, loosening it off. That's it. Now we're gonna do big arm circles, taking it back one arm at a time. I do one arm at a time because it just means you can actually move it slightly more. Breathing out, use that rotation in your thoracic spine. Let's go for one more. And changing arms, breathing out as you twist. Really loosening off that shoulder capsule, the thoracic spine. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna go into our roll down. The roll down stretches the back. Standing up nice and tall, knees slightly bent, tummy pulled in. On a breath out, tuck your chin down, let the arms hang down to the floor. Think of curling down one vertebra at a time. Imagine a string of pearls and you're dropping one pearl down at a time. All the way down to the floor, relax your head, breathing out as you curl up. Start the curl from the pelvis, really think of tucking under, stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other, slide the shoulders down and back, head comes up last. When you come up, I want you to open your palms towards the front, just because that opens up your chest. Let's go for two more. Breathing out. Soften the knees, pulling that belly button in, curling down all the way. And on a breath out. That's it. Making sure you stack those vertebrae one on top of the other. Slide the shoulders down and back. Head comes up last. Let's go for one more. Breathing in and out. Pulling that belly button in. Sliding all the way down. And from here, dropping down onto your knees. Place your left leg in front. Lean forward onto that leg, knee over your ankle. Make sure you don't have your knee coming forward. You want that foot right under your ankle. Slide your back leg back, back leg pointed, hands on the inside, and we're gonna rotate those hips side to side. You're gonna go for five. Think of almost like wagging your tail like a dog. Breathing out. That's it, last one. Now from here, you're gonna send your hips back, straightening this front knee. Lift your toes, dig your heel in, move your hands back as much as you need. If you need to come up all the way, that's perfect. The most important thing is to straighten that knee and then coming forward, lift your chest. You go five times. So we're really trying to slide and glide those tissues. Breathing in, breathing out. Remember, the most important thing is to straighten this knee. So wherever your hands have to be to get that done, that's important. Last time. Very nice. Now staying forward. From here, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Drop your weight forward onto this leg and looking up. Very nice. Now an option. We're going to lean that left elbow on your left thigh. If you can, you're going to reach for your back foot to stretch that quads. It's quite uncomfortable for some people, so what you can do is come up into standing and grab your foot. When you do this, I want your knees together. Squeeze your bottom, lifting that arm up. So from here, you really want to think of tucking those hips in. Don't arch your back. You want to squeeze the bottom and reaching up. Very nice, coming back down. If you stood up, make sure your right leg is in front, so change legs, knee over ankle. 
hands on the floor slide that back leg back and let's rotate those hips side to side that's it breathing out two more good and stretching back straightening that front knee and coming forward lift your chest remember to think of sliding and gliding those tissues so you want to keep this nice and smooth move your hands as much as you need but as little as you have to we're going for five we've got one more very nice now hold it here breathing in take your arms up to the ceiling slide those shoulders down and back looking up remember push your weight forward onto this front leg from here rest your thigh rest your hand on your thigh if you can pick that foot up otherwise you're going to stand up and stretch your quads knees together tuck those hips under reach that arm up that's it breathing out very nice now coming back down onto your knees you want to make sure in this position we're going to stretch out thoracic spine that your knees are over under your hips hands under your shoulders take this hand up towards the ceiling follow your hand with your head and now slide it between your front hand and thigh take your shoulder blade all the way down head down five times each side as you take that arm up make sure you don't stick your hips out try and keep your hips over your knees and down we got three more breathing out twist you'll find one side slightly harder to do than the other we all have a tighter side breathing out stretch last one and twist very nice changing sides remember don't stick the hips out try and keep over twist you can see this side is my much tighter side and stretch we got three more breathing out reach and stretch try and follow your hand with your head last one very nice coming to lie on your back we're going to loosen off the hips so from here have your feet nice and wide like your mat arms out to the side rolling the knees side to side you want to try and drop this top leg all the way down to the floor if you can because you get a beautiful stretch in that front hip so as you take this leg down you want to feel the stretch here hello my doggy dog this is my lulu keep going stretching hello sweetheart hello big girl hello big girl good two more one more live action with the dog very nice hugging those knees into your chest good now from here keep your right knee in at your chest stretch that left leg down along the floor you're going to breathe out you're going to open that hip you want to pull that knee out away from your midline you might feel a click so i'm trying to open up the hips keep them facing the ceiling nice now breathing out pull that knee across change hands have this arm out to the side palm facing up and bring that knee over now ideally you want to be able to keep your shoulders flat and get that knee down towards the ground palm facing up use your breath to relax into that position try not to fight a stretch you want to try and melt into the stretch awesome coming back let's change knees right left knee into your chest stretch that right leg out and take that hip open so take the knee away from your midline opening up that hip arm out to the side palm up make sure your hips don't move that way you want to keep them facing up to the ceiling that's it bringing that leg over changing hands taking it down towards the floor now you want to keep those shoulders down opposite palm up that's it breathing out get that stretch you might feel a few clicks and cracks <sighs> a 
Beautiful, hugging those knees into your chest and rolling up into sitting. Nice, last stretch in this position, a little over 10 minutes, but there's lots of talking. You're gonna sit cross-legged. I want you to take your hand down to the side. If you can, drop that elbow down, but you wanna keep the opposite hips down. So don't, from here, lift up, push that hand into the floor. Keep those hips down and stretching out. This is such a beautiful stretch for the whole side. Make sure when you're here that you don't lift up that bum. Both butt cheeks on the floor. And breathing out, coming up, change sides, hands on the floor, elbow on the floor if you can, keeping the hips down and reaching over. Breathing. Beautiful. There we go. If you're able to do that every day, it'll just be such a great start to your day. Get all those tissues sliding, gliding, improve your posture. I'll add to the series when you need.